How's it going, ladies and Bruce? It's Bobby Six. Gonna welcome back to Dragon's Quest Eleven. It's time for us to have a rest. We can't use the fun size forge, unfortunately, but we can. Oh, we can sell perfectionist pearls. Are you serious? Oh, there you go. It's twenty grand. Oh, it's a shop as well. What do you got? Weapons and stuff. That's pretty cool. I don't know what I just did. I think I just bought pearls instead of selling them. I thought we were selling perfectionist pearls. But I guess not. Oh well. Never mind. So I can't sleep till... I can't rest till evening there either. So that's a pain in the ass because I need to get to evening. Oh, well, the other thing we need to do is talk to that hammer hood up here next to the thing for that lips. Yo. I'm Bash Tien, Editor-in-Chief of the School Newsletter, Le Mini Mond. Not that you know this from this big blank 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 space on the notice board, I just finished tacking up this month's issue when it got caught 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 by the breeze and blew out the window. Had to top 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 it all off. It was an all new 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 format, it even had the long awaited Cherie Cherie column. Advice for the love lawn from Madame Cherie herself. Were you, were you hoping to get, 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 get some advice for yourself? I'm sorry, it would take far too long to reprint it. I've decided to write 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 this issue off and start work on the next one instead. If you're absolutely desperate to read Madame Cherie's column, you'll just have to hunt, hunt, hunt down the own one and only copy. It blew, blew, blew away in the direction of Eerie Ire. I wager that some kindly monsters found it and stuck, stuck, stuck it up on a signpost somewhere. Why do I think, think, think that? Because it was a masterpiece, of course. Even the meanest monster would recognise as genius and want, want, want to share it to the whole world. And you're a monster after all, I guess, so you'd know. You know what monsters' motivations are. Apparently they're all about that literature. Cool. Well, that means we know what we're doing there. We need to head out of town. We're going to go to a camp. We're going to forge that whip if we've got the gear for it. We're going to rest till evening. We're going to come back. And then once we come back, we are going to look for the birch tree with the swings where we will be able to. We will be able to dig up that person's hidden treasure stuff. Looks like the, sh the closest camp's this way. Oh my god! Metal slimes! Oh, they don't count because they're night metal slime dudes. I don't think they're the same. I don't think they count for their massive XP boosties. Unfortunately. Oh, shortcut. Sick. Pop. Platinum. Mirror stone. That sounds pretty cool, too. Okay, that's all that was here. I guess that platinum is really, really worth it. I thought it'd be a shortcut to the camp, but no. I don't even think you need to use like special attacks to deal with those particular metal slimes. Because they're bundled with the knights or whatever. Slime riders. Oh, there's the camp. Oh, let's make camp. Alright, we're gonna forge items if we can. We got a lot of new stuff though that we can make now. But we got whips, that's our first thing. We don't have the stuff, we need the mirror stone. We need one more. Plus a green eye and an auspicious, which we have plenty of. We did get a bunch of new crafty things though that we can make. Mainly accessories, I think. Ne oh my god. Lots of new stuff. An aggro-inducing choker that enhances attack power. Eight or more. That'd be good for a jade. Boost that power, you know? Finescence. 
Let's see what we can do about it. Right, we're going to quadra bash as usual now. And again. And we'll go standard bash here. And we'll go double whammy down here. The power of the next strike is doubled. Cool. We got a lightning bash there. I think that's the best we're going to do. It's not bad though. We plus one or plus two, probably plus two. Plus two. Live with that. Any new armor that we can make? Doesn't look like it. Lots of this stuff's new, but we we just don't have the the stuff. I think I pick up a lot of stuff, but we just don't have the stuff. Brazilian armor. Platinum, gold, and celestial skin. Part of the Drazilian set. The royal family of Dundrazil. So it's made for our main character. It's gonna look a lot fancier this purple robe as well, I tell you. Let's smash this thing out. Quadrabash. Uh, what do we got now? Double whammy, I guess. Power of the next strike is doubled. It might be a bit much. No, that's not too bad, not too bad. Alright, now we're gonna go that one. That one. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, that one. Power of the next strike is halved. Interesting. Maybe this one? Ooh, so close! Come on, it's so close to perfection here. Okay, we're out of everything. That'll be plus two anyway, at least. Come on, plus two me. Or plus three. I'll take plus three. I assume that changes the way we look as well. That's some sexy armor, I tell you. It's unfortunate we can't make the whip though. Anything else that we haven't made? See, that takes out mirror stone. We don't want to do that. We need the mirror stone for other sh other stuff. Let's make this one, I guess. Don't forget, we need to make it evening before we head back. Quadrabash is like my favorite thing so far. Quadrabash is amazing. Amazing. Ooh, that was nearly too much. Okay, that was too much. Wow, that was way too much. I messed that bit up hard. That's going to stop it from bidding perfection. Even if everything else is perfect, that's probably going to make it a plus two. Because I ruined that bit so bad. Necklace of Immunity we'll make. And then we'll rest our evening head back to the, to the school. Well, this is the same setup as the last time. Go to a standard bash now. And again. That was too much. That was beautiful. That was too much. That was beautiful. That's perfection right there. That is perfect. Perfect. Magnifique. Dun 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 across the nation. Well, let's just uh, check our equipment nice and quick because we're going to need to change up, obviously. We have the new armor for a start here. 
Brazilian armor is going to boost us by 16 and our charm by like 40. It doesn't change the way we look. Oh, that's real sad, man. I guess we need the helmet or something to go with it as well. I bet that's what it is. Okay, we got some new other stuff as well. We got Necklace of Immunity, which defends against poison. We boost defense by 6. This reduces Paralyze and gives defense. So it has a big attack boost and a slight defense boost. That's going to be a Jade thing, I think. Devil's Tail is not that good. Doesn't it does boost uh, agility, which is nice. This just boosts raw power, just like that one boosts raw power as well. The aerofoil earrings on him are probably not worth having, to be honest. Hard to say. Let's just roll with that for now. Uh, yeah, we're gonna rest till evening if we can. Dusk, I guess that means dusk, right? Now we gotta zoom back to the school before it gets like less late or whatever. We'll come back to Eerie Eye later, but I think before we uh, continue any more story, we're going to have to try and knock out some of these side missions. None of the mobs has knocked up this thing on the signpost yet, that I could see. But maybe I didn't look hard enough, I don't know. Maybe I have to go further in, we'll worry about that one later then. Oh wait, there's a signpost. That is not the signpost we needed, apparently. Alright, fair enough. They said it was an eerie eye, or I guess it must mean it's properly an eerie eye. We need to find this birch tree. That's the other thing. It's a shame we can't make the uh, whip yet, but hopefully we'll pick up the gear for it soon. There's not actually many big trees around that you can actually get to. It's evening now. Here's the swings. And the shadow seems to be everywhere. Well, that's a pain in the ass. It's just been night time. What's this? You can actually still see the shadows, funnily enough, but it's night time now, so I don't know if it counts. Shadows in the same place, pretty much, though. I don't see anything coming up, though. There's the swings. This is the tree. I really don't know. Bit of a pain in the butt, isn't it? What are the other missions? We got gone one in Gondolia, right? Don't know what that one is. So you got Russia Blood. The bunny girl thing, that's right, I'm still missing the main bunny girl suit bit. Um, Broly Gagger. South of Champs Savage and wait for it to rain. Don't know about that one. Go investigate the part of the school grounds mentioned in the pages. I'm here. Can't find it though. Find a little boy whose songs used to enjoy. Apparently his ship had the word Gondolia painted on the prow. And make the Queen's Whip. Should we get a Gondolia? I guess we'll try Gondolia. 
Nice and quickly. I don't know who to talk to though. They have a ship. So I guess we'll head right to the to the docks. Makes sense, I guess. We haven't been in Gondolia in ages. Our ship's over there, so I guess we'll try starting over there. This is the docks down here, right? Hey, dude! No, 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 sorry. It's you. I didn't realize it was you, Dave. It's him. The, uh, excuse me, I uh, talked to myself. Uh, Truth is Sir Jasper, you ought to be very sternly to tell him if I see the Darkspawn, but I cannot take the pressure. No, I think everybody is the Darkspawn. But you know, come back here. It's obvious, molto evidente. Why would he make such a risk? There's no need for me to check everybody. Ah, it is you, Dodge Rotondo. You tell me everything. But you must be careful. Sir Jasper has guards on patrol everywhere, Hester. I don't know who to check. There's no ships out here, at the dock. You guys aren't helpful. I need helpful people, please. Let's head right up to the end then. Oh, here's a door here that we can open with our key. With our new key. Should we check it out? Should we check it out? Of course we're going to check it out. Why would I even ask that? Cool. Love opening these doors. So exciting. Recipe book, Divine Designs. Seraphic scepters, angel sandals. Oh, mini metal? No mini metal. Oh, hang on. Mini metal. <laughs> There's a mission over here. A new one. What the absolute balls. Oh, there's one of the white doors that we still can't open, can we? I don't think we can open these. Nah. I don't know how to open those ones. Oh, it's you! The one who delivered Hakim's letter. Your timing could not be better. I find myself in need of your assistance once more. Could you deliver another letter for me, please? This time it's going to Port of Valor. A tour gentleman who lives there by the name of Valentino. You get a mini medal? Shit, yeah. I'll do anything for a mini medal. In order to travel to Port of Valor, you must sail to the northwest. Valentino will be not difficult to find when you arrive here, I'm sure. Please be aware that the letter tells Valentino everything, including the fact that I abandoned my career as a baker to come work here. As such, it would be a disaster if it fell into the wrong hands. You must take great care of it and ensure it reaches its destination safely. Okay. It's only a letter. It's not that hard. I'm not an idiot. Well, not a complete idiot. Well, not a total complete idiot. Yo. Senor Universo is cancelled. It's a shame. It'd be a perfect chance for all the people to hear my beautiful voice. Speaking of beautiful voice, the sailors, they talk about a voice they hear out in the sea. They tell me it's simply Bellissimo. The people who hear it, they fall asleep. And while they sleep, a horror monster will take their ship and drag it down into the water. It's scary, no? But if I'm honest, I wish to hear it. There's no possible it could be more beautiful than mine. That is not what I wanted you to say. I wanted you to say, yes, I am that one. And, uh, yeah. That's about it. It's you, the one Sir Jasper is chasing. You must not stand here in the piazza. Everybody, they can see you. I don't want them to catch you. Doge Rotondo, explain me a little. I know I understand everything, but I know you're no evil. Okay, okay, okay. Who are you? What about you? Over there. Forlorn looking over the water guy. What about you? Dude, how am I meant to tell? There's so many people. I would have assumed it would be this guy with the harp because he has a harp. You, are you going to attack me? No? Luciano. He speaks sometimes of the wonderful mysterious voice people here out in the sea, but for me it's him who has the best voice in the world. 
Luciana, that's you, right? I don't know, man. Sounds like that. What I'm, that's what I'm looking for. The one out to sea. It's hard to believe now, but when I'm a boy, I have a voice like an angel. Il Piccolo Angelo, they call me. The captain of the biggest ship of Gondolia. He take me aboard to sing for the sailors. I travel everywhere. It's so much fun. Molto divente. Even the sea creatures come to hear me sing. One time I even see the face of Una Serena, a real life mermaid. If you don't believe me, go ask her yourself. Bobby tells the old sailor about the mermaid Nordaku wants to hear a song again. Di Certo! This is the mermaid I saw all those years ago. I'm so happy she remembers me. Sono Felice! I'd like very much to sing for her again, but I'm an old man. My voice is not what it was. But you, you're a healthy young regazzo. Did you not run out of breath so easily? If I teach you, will you sing her, to her my song? Grazie mille. Thank you, traveller. Well then, if you're listening carefully, the song it goes like this. Farewell to the dear contest stage. Goodbye, cake shop, goodbye. I'm bound for Octagonia, my humble wo wares to ply. I'm bound for Octagonia by ways of Zoadras town. I write to thee a letter, love, when I'm homeward bound. So fare thee well, when I return, united we will be. Leaving Gondolia is not what hurts, my love, it's leaving thee. How long's it been since I last singing this song? Now it's your turn, traveller. Let the mermaid hear my shanty once again. The old sailor taught you a song. Go back to Nordica and sing it for the music-loving mermaid sitting in front of the Pearly Palace. Okay, let's do it. I have nothing else to do here, I don't think. Boom! To Nordica! Away! And then we pretty much have to go to Eerie I don't know what else to do. Oh, we can deliver that message to Porta Valor, I guess. Porta Valor. We'll do that next. Drop off that letter. We've already been to Porta Vela, so it should be easy, easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Is that a male mermaid? Are the male mermaids those weird, ugly fish people? No wonder they're looking for humans to get down and dirty with. Welcome back to Nordica. It's been so very long. Did you find the minstrel boy? Did he sing you his song? Bobby tells the mermaid the old sailor's story and sings the song that he taught him. Farewell to thee, dear contest stage. Goodbye, cake shop. Goodbye. I'm bound for Octagonia. My humble wares supply. I'm bound for Octagonia by way of Zard's Rust Town. I write thee a letter, love, when I'm homeward bound. So fare thee well when I return. United we will be. Leaving Gondolia is not what hurts my love, it's leaving thee. That's the one. The pretty little song that I adored. It seems like yesterday I heard him strum those sunny chords. But now you say he's old and grey. Your lives go by so fast. You feel your songs of fire. For you know that fire won't last. I feel that passion once again. And it's all thanks to you. Please take this, my friend. It's the least that I can do. A trident. Brick kill to go with a trident. <laughs> you should probably go into hiding. You're probably wanted for murder. Porta Valor. I forgot what the name of the guy we were looking for was. Plop, 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 plop. Valentino or some shit. But, I mean, she said he won't be hard to find. I don't understand why he won't be hard to find, but... It looks like he'd be hard to find. Everybody's... It's a... Oh, whatever, whatever. There's a door to open. Let's go do that first. That'll make me feel better about the whole situation, really. Make the tra trip worthwhile whether I can find him or not, you know? What do we got? Falcon knife earring. Okay. Is that good? Is that actually a weapon or what? It is. I didn't actually equip the cautery sword, I didn't even notice that. I could have boosted my damage ages ago. You dumbass. I mean, you dumbass. Alright. Um, does this tell me where Valentino's house is? Tells me where Don Rodrigo's house is.
I'm not sure that's helpful, to be honest. Let me just have a look at my, uh, what's a jigger Quest catalog, that one. Is it this one? Deliver a letter to a gentleman by the name of Valentino in Porto Velo. I mean, okay, but... Can you not give me any more information than that? Who's Valentino? Is it this guy? Is it that lady? I don't even know. Can you help me out here? She dances with much passion. Blah, blah, blah. Someone around here called Valentino? Yeah, are you Valentino? You don't even have a name. You're no use to me. If you see someone with a name called Valentino, let me know. Everyone else, you're wasting my time. Are you Valentino? It's not so easy. You cannot find the thing you need. Oh, this is the other mini metal exchange place. I got like two more to drop in, I think. Might as well do that. And we'll see if someone called Valentino's here as well. So close. Two more and I'll get my next dealie. Are you Valentino? Seriously, how am I meant to know? Do I have to go to the casino? Hang on. Oh, I thought you looked a bit like the lady that was... I mean, you do look a bit like the lady that was, uh... You know, the, the, the painting lady, the monster painting lady. I don't think we actually went to the casino, did we? When we were in town? I think we totally forgot to do that. Something else to do, I guess. Someone around here called Valentino? Are you Valentino? Any tokens if you wish to play downstairs? Okay. I'm not worried about that right now. Oh, here we go. What have we got? Down the rabbit hole. Patterns and diagrams. Nice. And fur nails. Holy crap! They look awesome! Oh my god, you got such great stuff! The stuff of sentencing. <laughs> Dude! Dude! Oh, I don't want to spend ages gambling though. I'm totally going to have to though. And I got no money now because I spent it all by accident. I can order one token. There you go, I have no money left. Here you go, let's gamble. I have one token. Minimum bet is 10 tokens per reel. I only have one token. Where can I bet one token on something? Dude, are you Valentino? You drunk bastard. Are you Valentino? Surely one of you is Valentino, right? Why are you looking at the wall? You weirdo. There you go, one token. Boom. You ready? We're going to burn our one token. Until we have nothing left. I need one token. There. Boom. Spin the wheel. I don't have a thousand gold coins. But anyway, thanks for that. I enjoyed my one spin of the wheel. Since I accidentally bought like a million perfectionist pills. I'm pretty poor now. I thought I was selling them. Because they're... I have an infinite supply of perfectionist pills already. But now I have like infinite and infinite more. Are you Valentino? Are you, are you, are you Valentino? Are you Valentino? Gotta break those in case there's mini medals. You never know. You never know. Check out this fancy, fancy pants place over here where all the big houses are. This is where Valentino hangs out, god damn it. You know it. It's Don Rodrigo's house. It's 
Are you Valentino? Yes, he volunteers. I seriously don't understand how I'm meant to find out who the hell Valentino is. It's, it's. Could you at least give me a description of what he looks like? Well, something, anything. Most of these guys don't even have a name. That's how irrelevant you people are. You're nameless. Literally nameless. I feel bad for you, but at the same time, it's not helping me either. Okay? Oh, look, new people. Are you Valentino? Oh. You must be a fellow traveller. We're taking a breather here on our way north. I don't suppose you've ever paid a visit to that awfully deep valley to the west of here, have you? You have. Golly, you must have ex be jolly as experienced at the travelling lark if you managed to find it. I hear there's a really rather excellent boarding school for girls on the other side of it. You're thinking of sending our own beloved offspring there. Cool. Oh, here's the thing. Come on, there must be Valentino around here somewhere. He must be on the beach or something, alright? How about you? You're a girl. You looking for pretty shells? I've got pretty shells. You? It's impossible. Oh, oh. My god, how did I get behind this? Oh, who's this guy? Are you Valentino? You're searching for a man by the name of Valentino, then Senor, you have found him. Thank god for that, Jesus. You're very plain and hiding. She said I wouldn't have trouble finding you. You're a very boring looking bastard, hiding, hiding in the back of a pub, reading a book on your own. There's only one person who would write me a letter. It's from Akira in Gondolia, see? Ah, uh, it's been a very long time. Let's see what she has to say. Dear Doctor, it's been a while, has it not? My apologies for not writing since I last visited. But I have good news. I finally have the money. I can finally pay you to treat my father's leg. I must hurry, Doctor. Please, come to Gondolia right away. Yes, expectantly. Akia. The poor dear child. She's still not given up the hope that Abu's leg may one day be healed. But perhaps I should explain. As you just heard, I am a doctor. Akia heard of my reputation and came to me to ask if I could treat her papa's injured leg. At the time, I couldn't help her. The treatment required her papi cost far more than she could afford. I believe that's why she abandoned her career as a baker. She wanted to earn more money so she could save up and pay for the treatment of her puppy. Unfortunately, it's impossible for me to treat her father's injury. Please take this letter to Akira, it's very important. Muy importante, see? She must know the truth of the situation. <coughs> Finally, deliver to Akira on the east side of the main street in Gondolia. How do you know exactly where she is? It's a bit creepy. Alright, let's get that done real quick. I know where she is, I just left her a little while ago. I'll just blow this one through and then we'll end the episode. And then in the next one, we'll be heading off into the Eerie Ire. It's gonna be creepy and awesome. Looking forward to it, I really am. I love this game so much. It's easily in the running to definitely be on the top 10 of my games for the year, so far. He delivered my letter to Valentino, yes, well, how did he react? No, surely not, he refuses to treat my father, but why? Hands over the letter. This letter's not addressed to me, it's addressed to Valentino, and the sender is... Apu, my father? Why is my father sending letters to Valentino? And why are you delivering them to me? Perhaps things will become clearer if I read it, let me see. Dr. Valentino, I've heard that my daughter visited you, and asked you to treat my leg. You must do something for me, doctor. If I get offers to pay for my treatment, I would ask that you refuse. I'd also ask that you give her a few coins, which I enclose in this envelope, telling her to help her follow her dream of becoming a baker. I've saved up the small sum through my work in the stables, in the hope they might help my dear daughter. I've been a terrible father to my children. Nothing I do now will ever change that, but I'd like to try and help in this, at least. Thank you, Doctor. Your humble servant, Abu. I see, so my father knew about my plan. In truth, I thought he had forgotten all about me, but it seems my career has meant a great deal to him. 
And here I am, having abandoned it in order to try and help him. He was singing to me all along. But why make his feelings known through such roundabout means? I must thank you for bringing this letter. It's brought my father and I together again, if only indirectly. Please accept this small token of my gratitude. Many metal. Transgress with finesse. Because we're the best. Only one more mini medal to go and then we'll be uh, on to the next... We get like a staff, I think? Was it a staff? I think it was a staff. And we gotta do something in that casino. I gotta mine some money again because I've wrecked all my all our money. That was my bad. But it won't be hard to get it back. We're gonna wrap this episode up here and in the next one we'll go to the ERR. Until then, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you in the next one.